Heating tapes are easy to use, inexpensive, and ideal for a wide range of thermal applications. This instructional video will provide simple installation and tips to improve the longevity of your tape, application performance, and most importantly, your safety. Heating tapes offer many advantages for solving a wide range of gas, liquid, and solid heating applications. From controlling a process or the viscosity of a liquid to preventing condensation or protecting objects from freezing, heat tape can be used by almost any industry. The selection of your tape depends on the length, diameter, configuration of the surface to be heated, required temperature, required wattage, and environmental conditions, such as possible contact with moisture or chemicals. To begin, there are three basic types of heating tapes. Heavy fiberglass insulated heating tape is equipped with high temperature tie downs and has a maximum temperature exposure up to 1400 degrees Fahrenheit or 760 degrees Celsius. Standard insulating heating tapes are not suitable for conductive surfaces such as metal, but commonly use glass surfaces. Same as the heavy fiberglass insulated tape, its maximum exposure temperature is 1400 degrees Fahrenheit or 760 degrees Celsius and is also equipped with the high temperature tie downs. A silicone extruded heating tape is moisture and chemical resistant. These tapes have maximum exposure temperature of 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 232 degrees Celsius. Some models may come equipped with a controller from the manufacturer. Once you have decided on the correct heating tape for your application, here is a list of the things you will need for your project. Your selected heating tape. Pressure sensitive and heat resistant tape such as fiberglass or aluminum. Cloth rags. A tape measure. Gloves safety glasses, and a temperature controlling device. Some models may come equipped with a controller from the manufacturer. Step 1. Preparation. Begin by preparing the surface to be heated. Wipe the surface making sure there is no foreign material such as liquid on the object. Foreign material inhibits heat transfer and liquid can damage select models of heating tapes. Make a visual inspection of heating tape. We recommend that you replace the heating tape if it becomes torn or damaged due to safety hazards and operational inefficiencies. Step 2. Installing your heating tape. Heating tape can be installed on nearly any surface due to its flexibility. First, attach the heating tape to the surface by either using the built-in tie downs, high temperature adhesive tape, or a mechanical clamping device that will not cause damage to the heating tape. Spiral wrap the heating tape onto the surface that will be heated. Make sure the length of one entire side of the heating tape is in full contact with the surface. The distance between spiral wraps is dependent on the uniformity requirements and the amount of available heating tape. A minimum distance of 1 8 inch is required between spiral wraps to avoid damage to the heating tape. Ensure the heating tape is not kinked, twisted, overlapped on itself, or hanging free from the surface on which it will be heating. Step 3. Connecting your heating tape to a temperature control device. Your heating tape must be connected to an external temperature control device to prevent the product from overheating and burning out. For proper heat control, secure a thermocouple, RTD, or other temperature sensing device with one strip of adhesive tape. Turn on your controller to the desired temperature and begin heating your application. Keep in mind, you'll want to always remember to examine your heating tape often to extend the longevity of your product. Here is a quick tip. You may want to use high temperature rated insulation that meets your application requirements, such as a moisture resistant insulator or fiberglass, to reduce heat loss and increase efficiency.